Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear Chris Logrovers, colleagues, dear Chris Logrovers, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to chair this session, which is, has a bit of a strange title, maybe, Presentation of Awards. Indeed, we will present here several awards during this session, mainly devoted to crystal growing competitions. And I will start with the international competition organized by the International Union itself. But then we will continue with the Moroccan crystal growing contest and also the proclamation of the best PhD thesis in Morocco in crystallography in 2014. When we started preparing the international year with a small working group, we were sure that we had to organize also things uh, for uh, school children. And as many, in many countries, there were already existing crystal growing competitions. I mentioned here Canada, Singapore, England, Spain, Australia, and my own country, Belgium. So with this experience in hand, we would like to multiply these um, crystal growing competitions and start them in other countries also. So one of the objectives of a small coordinating group which was formed by us was to start in <coughs> many countries regional or national competitions and to help them so that they should not invent one water again we were preparing a small brochure. In this brochure, we had a lot of tips and tricks. We had an ideal timeline. We had the best compounds to crystallize and all these things. And together with a small um, YouTube film, uh, of which you see there the first image, how to crystallize or how to, how to, crisp, how to grow a single crystal, um, which was really a very attractive video, I would say, for the younger people, very at their level. Um, with this in hand, we were able to, uh, at the end of the international year, to have a list of 34, at least 34, competitions in 34 countries. And I was involved in many of these organizations. For example, in Vietnam, I was involved in the competition over there. So the experiences of these young children were, it was really great. And they really were very thankful. And they asked for a new edition in the next year. So if we can talk about the legacy of this international year, this is really one of the uh, big examples, I would say. But when we started this work, it was also a dream of a number of people of, among us to have a really international competition. But to set this up in the same conditions as the national ones was almost impossible. Because growing single crystals, submitting them, uh, judging them and so on, this would not be possible for the whole world. So what we uh, invented then was, in fact, um, another type of competition. Why not, during the crystal growing competitions in several countries, make little videos, submit these videos, and we would judge these videos. And at the same time, for those not able to make videos, why not ask them to write their experiences in a small essay and submit this essay? in English or in the mother language. So we created a worldwide international competition. And today I have the honor to present you the laureates, um, the winners of this international competition in these two categories, the video category and the essays. Um, <coughs> we received 139 entries coming from 25 countries. And so we decided to give as many prizes as possible. And so we took a bit over the system uh, working for the International Olympiads, where we have gold medals, silver medals, and bronze medals. And those just not winning these medals will receive a honorary mention. 
And for the videos also, we had a special category of the creativity prizes. Each of these winners will receive, of course, a certificate, like you see it there. It will be nicely framed, it will send to us, but for the medal winners, of course, we also will have, I have one in my pocket here, a real medal. Yeah. And they will re really receive this, uh, together with a number of prizes, of course, uh, videos, uh, micro small microscopes and so on, and this will send to them later on during the month of May. So let's proceed now to the different categories and I will announce you officially the prize winners. This whole session is also recorded by tape and we will put this on, the, on our internet website so that of course the winners can also have a look at this session because it was impossible of course to invite them all here in this meeting. So let's start with the video competition, the creativity prizes. A special jury was uh, deciding about these creativity prizes and four um, videos were nominated for these creativity prizes. I quickly go through them. A school in Tarnowski Gori in Poland, a school, a team in school in Kaczalov Gymnasium in Lithuania, and two schools in Belgium, one in St. Genesius Rode and one in Leuven, were the winners of these creativity prizes. It is impossible to show you all these videos, of course, but please have a look at our website. You can, you can spend many hours in watching all these videos, and you will see that they are really very professional made. The next category is the honorary mentions, and um, here I will not go through the whole list, of course, I will just mention the countries. So, teams from Belgium, Australia, Uruguay, the United States, several times, Singapore, and four teams in Argentina are the recipients of these honorary mentions for the video competition 2014. Then we come to, I would say, the real winners of the medals. So let's start with the bronze medalists. Um, <clears throat> here I will take some more time, I would say, because these are the real winners, um, and I will um, <clears throat> mention them all. The so St. Martinus School in Herdestadt in Belgium, the issue on secondary school in Singapore, the team called Crystal Maniacs, um, coming from Coimbra in Portugal. And then two teams from Poland, one team, Christina Suda, and the other team, the Team Daisies, from a school in Tarnowski, Gori in Poland. These five are the bronze medalists, and I would like to congratulate them, and I think they also need a big applause from us. So let's move forward to the silver medalists. Again, five schools were nominated for the silver medalists. The school, Onsli Vrouw Institute at St. Genesius Rode in Belgium. The Daily, Daily a private school in Sharia and United Arab Emirates. The Crystal Growers team in the Kachalov Gymnasium in Vilnius in Lithuania. The Pampas team from the Colegio de la Universidad Nacional de la Pampa in Argentina. And team number one in the Chenzhen Middle School in Chenzhen in China. These five schools are the recipients of the silver medalists. Please, congratulations. <laughs> and then finally, the golden medals, the real winners. The first gold medal goes to a school in Spain, the Escola Gambi Pere Veris Esplugues, if I pronounce it correct, but probably not, in Spain is the first winner. Also the school in Massa Magrel in Spain uh, receives a gold <coughs> medal. The St. Andrew School in Walkerville in Australia. And then a very exceptional film, I think, if you look at one video, you should really look at this one, it is exceptional. The Collegio Salesiano San Isidro La 
Orotova in Tenerife, Spain, is the fourth golden medal. And the last golden medal goes to Let There Be Light, the Colegio Nacional de Buenos Aires from Argentina. Congratulations to these five golden medals. <clears throat> then there was also a second category. The second category were the assess, and here we had uh, the, the judgment uh, of, of these uh, videos and uh, assess, I forgot to mention this, but for this we extended the coordinating group with a number of extra members so that we were able to have representation from all the continents and all the, all the languages spoken uh, in the videos or used to write the uh, assess. So the honorary mentions for the essay competition goes to, go to uh, Singapore, India, United Kingdom, the United States, and again, Argentina. Um, of course, here also we have the medals, and the bronze medals go to uh, three uh, entries coming from the Holy Family Primary School, and I insist here, this is a primary school uh, um, in Gowri, in Australia. The uh, Escuela de Educación Secundaria Tecnica Número 2, uh, I also think, uh, in Villa Ballester in Argentina, and Team 2 in the Chenzhen Middle School in China. These are the three winners of the bronze medalists, so uh, congratulations, and I think they also merit a bachelor's. <laughs> and we proceed, of course, to the silver medals. The silver medals go to the team molecule in the Lyceum in Moscow, in the Russia Federation. The San Martín de los Andes uh, School in Argentina, and team number 13, this time lucky number, uh, in the Chanzen Middle School in China. These three teams have the silver medal. Congratulations to these three teams and a big applause. And then finally, the golden medals for the essay competition go to, again, a school in San Martin de los Andes in Argentina, a school in Mangalore in India, and it's the Sharada uh, Public School, and then finally a golden medal for the Colegio Nacional de Buenos Aires in Argentina. These three are the recipients of the golden medals for the essay competition 2014. Please, congratulations and a warm applause for them. Please. So this ends, I think, my long list of winners. Congratulations to all the winners, but not only to the winners, also to all the other participants, but because we were really amazed about the quality of these videos and these essays. Many thanks to the coordinating group, the judging panel, the national and the regional organizers, and what is not on my list here, and it's maybe a shame because we also have to thank them a lot, I think, is the teachers, because without these teachers, there would be no students who would participate. They initiate this in their schools. Well, thanks also to UNESCO for the collaboration and for the, and the staff of the IUCR in uh, Chester. Uh, as I told you already, prices will be sent in the month of May uh, together with the official certificates. Next to this, there was also uh, a crystal growing competition especially designed for UNESCO-associated schools. And this was organized by UNESCO in collaboration with the International Union of Crystallography. Here I can show you the crystals because they really had to submit crystals. And a small judging panel decided about the first four prizes. The fourth prize goes to uh, the Colegio Juan de Monte in Argentina. The third prize to the Yishun Town Secondary School in Singapore. The second prize to Benin University in Benin. And the first prize to the Yishun Town Secondary School again in Singapore. Also, congratulations to these four schools for participating and for 
these marvelous crystals they submitted to the crystal growing competition for UNESCO associated schools. Finally, um, I would like to um, add to this list of winners because the success was so enormous and we were so uh, appreciating the quality of these submitted videos that we officially will start a 2015 uh, Crystal Growing International Competition with the same format, the videos, and um, we will launch it, in fact, now at this very moment. The website is open since this week and so schools can again participate and submit videos to this um, international crystal growing competition for school children. And of course, I hope that we will be as successful as in 2014 with the number of submissions and the quality of the submissions. But I'm quite confident about this. And this is, I would say, really the legacy of our international year, or one of the legacies of our international year. This ends my uh, long list of winners, but now I would like to proceed to the proclamation of the prize winners of the Moroccan uh, crystal growing competition. And for this, I would like to give the word back to Professor Talon.